Good morning. Y'all ain't no gardener coming at you. Well, you know what? It's really not morning. It's afternoon. And I'm not in North Florida. I'm in South Florida with one of my best friends. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm down here with Paul Fruit, Fruitful Trees. And we're going to go on a little tour down here. Yeah, how's it going, Paul? Oh, amazing, amazing. Since you last year, things are growing, and we're just right about to get the mangoes. Yeah. No, no one's doing good with mangoes this year except East Palm Beach County. Really? Yep. No I one. noticed as I'm Miami, traveling. No, only East Palm Beach County is doing really good well. I know. I was telling my brother. I was telling him, and y'all, he's down here with us. <laughs> One God, just one. Always have been. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that I don't see fruit on the trees down there. There's not much, especially in Miami. Not a lot anywhere. But here. Loaded. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we want to go on a tour. So, yeah. Uh-huh. So since you were last here, everything's grown up. And wow. a couple of things moved around and stuff. But this is our Alano tree, Alano Sapodilla. And it's just crazy loaded. Wow. I'm talking yeah, about you've had it. this right yes so, but it's been a while yes goodness yeah this thing is a producer 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 when nothing else wants to produce yeah, this is uh this mm. here is uh is uh do you want him to film and you get it or you want to do it that way? it's up to you sure sure i can um you just just keep it rolling it's rolling now you ain't got to do nothing but yeah. film yeah so this mm -hmm. here is a, a, a seedling of a china jackfruit, one of my favorite jackfruits. Okay. Is this the one I was asking you about? China, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Good. And this fruit that's here for the first time, this is a job of the cob, it's done now, but... Uh-huh. And this thing was loaded with fruit. Wow. Yeah, so good. Wow, so good. wow. Look at this tree. Oh, you want to get the tree, too, and not get the yes. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you want to do it, you could. It's what, up to you. What kind is uh? What kind of this one's called Sabra. Sabra, big black one. It takes like seven or eight years to yeah, produce. Yeah, yeah. If I had to do it again, uh huh, I, I wouldn't have put it in the ground. I would have left it in a pot because you control the soil better. They like acidic <laughs> soil. Yeah, they love it. Wash your feet. I know you yeah. got ten toes, but I want you to leave it ten. <laughs> and yeah. then of course, all around, I got miracle fruit everywhere, and they're loaded right now. Mm -hmm. Miracle wow. fruit. That's the that's the fruit I eat the most more than anything else. Okay. It's miracle fruit. Wow. It's I, I drink uh, lemon water and that tastes like lemonade. Yes, yes. I I love. I got two of them myself. That's the Gefna Adamoya that huh. I, I took out of the ground and it started to flower. It is. They everywhere. Yeah. Oh, they everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see how it does. Okay. And this was a console mango. I I, I didn't care for it, so I I tried to top mm -hmm. work it. Mm -hmm. uh, but only one of them took right here an ice cream. Yeah, look, yeah, ice cream. I now see it. It looks like, now nah, that's the only one that took, but maybe not. Because these look interesting. Mm -hmm. But that's the ice cream, but that doesn't look yeah. like anything else took. Yeah. Yeah, but that's cog cogpole. Yeah, I had two of them when I first got started into this thing. And I, yeah. Yeah. They're not the best. No, they produce well. Miracle fruit. Miracle fruit. Wow. Got and then here's a, uh, this is a Oro Negro. Uh -huh. These are the Miracle fruit. This is an Oro yeah. Negro avocado. Yeah. This tree is loaded. Yeah, and this tree does great. This is a winter avocado. Winter avocado. This is a soft fruit. It's just starting to uh, flower. Just okay. three times a year, this tree's loaded. Now, I noticed that. Now, it looks like you've been trimming this tree quite a bit. Well, I trim it after I take the crop off, but this was wide and high. Okay. And I always trim it after take the crop up, but it came out for here it was loaded with fruit. Okay. Every year. And how, I, how old is this tree? Oh, about seven years old. Oh, okay. So you can keep them small. And you have to. You yeah. have to. It'd be bigger than the house. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to. I've and been, you get more than enough fruit. That's yeah. the first tree I planted right in this yard because it's right in the front. I didn't I didn't have a fence at the time and I didn't care if people took it because I get so much fruit. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna be able to hear us on that? Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. That, I just got that phone. Just got it. It's supposed to be super fulfilling. Here's a. What is it? Mm, this is okay. phone. Uh, uh, this is the Galaxy Pro All right. something. It's the second best filming phone. Well, I'll tell you. I'm a health teacher. The okay. three ways to reduce stress in your life. Okay. One way. 
is to listen to classical music. Okay. It's like, I don't know why, but something about classical music makes people relax. Right. Uh, the second way this is God. not having a reason to go anywhere, just taking a walk for no reason. Yeah. You see, women do that, but men don't. Men, yeah. men need a destination. Women will just walk just to walk. Right. Sometimes I walk while I listen to classical music and I'll fall asleep right there on the street. Yeah. <laughs> it's relaxing. Yeah. And the third best way to reduce your stress yeah. is, is, is get rid of your, 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 these phones and get an iPhone. Because yeah. <laughs> iPhone yeah. is number one well, for filming. Yeah, it's, it is. It's less trouble yeah. and everything. I went on like five sites and all five sites said iPhone was number one yeah. and this was number two. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this is a... Uh, Sapodilla, I think this is a, a makeup. Anything Sapodilla. ready? Nothing ready now. You know, <sighs> we shake the tree. Uh huh. Okay. No. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. And if they're ready, they'll fall. Okay. It's not ready yet, but you take that home. Man. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Look thank at this you. tree. This tree's loaded. Uh huh. Ronnie Avocado. Ronnie Avocado. Ronnie. This is from uh, Laura Farms, and mm -hmm. this produces in the in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And it goes late into the season. It might go all the way into March. Wow. And uh, this tastes great. It's not a Donnie. Okay. It's a Ronnie. Ronnie avocado. Yeah, what black, is the flavor black. like? Oh, it's great. It's very yeah. oily. It's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have it if it wasn't. Yeah, I know you would know, cut I'm them down a fruit, in a minute. A fruit tree snob. I'm yeah. not, it's not the best. I don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then back there we have a jujube. Jujube. Okay. And a jackfruit growing. Okay. Seedling. Okay. So here we got... Another mm -hmm. miracle fruit. Okay, is this, do you have this all on the same kind? There are two types of miracle two. fruits. One yeah. is uh, the leaves are shorter mm -hmm. and fatter, and mm -hmm. the fruit shorter and fatter, mm -hmm. and one of them they're skinnier and longer. Okay. I think I have both. Okay. I don't notice much of a difference. Do you I mind if I both. get two of these? I take 200, take as many <laughs> as you see. Okay, I like to take a couple of them because they grow from seed. But yeah, but you can't. Mm -hmm. They won't last long from the fruit, but yeah, you can go yeah. from seeds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'd like to get a couple of seeds. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. So this here, yeah, here. Mm -hmm. is a Maria Block. Okay, I heard Maria that. Block avocado. It's a mid-season avocado, early to mid-season. It's very nice, and it's a dwarf avocado tree. Okay, Maria Block. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, this is really exciting. This is star apple, Camito. And let's see... Not yet. Uh -oh. Not yet. This is Camito. Camito. Almost. Couple Almost. of days. Couple of days. This is Camito. This is a green star apple. I had my first one a couple of days ago. Okay. That's yeah. exciting. How was it? Huh. It's yeah. really good. Okay. Really good. For some reason, this side of the tree's loaded, and I don't uh -huh. know if the seedling came through, uh -huh. the grass came through, or what, but this uh -huh. side's loaded, and that one not too much. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And this is a pomegranate, uh, mm -hmm. Vietnam pomegranate. It's the only one that does good here in South Florida. Mm. And then we have a lot. This is some one called Wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a not good one. No, it's not Florida. a good one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any questions? In, uh, does they, do they stay about that size? Or, no, uh, there's one on there now that's pretty big, I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm just curious about the size. Oh, it fell, Paul. Yeah, it, it fell. Yeah, it fell. You got to pick them. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, they get a little bigger okay. than that. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a good size then. Yep. That is a good size. And right yeah. here, we have another star apple growing. Okay. It's called the Hypolito variety. Hypolito. Yeah, it's the most popular and best one. Okay. Uh, and so that's growing. Okay. Now, this one here is a seedling avocado. I'm sorry, mango. mango. Okay. I, his All face right. was puzzled. He was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That looked a little that bit That was a seedling good. mango. Okay. So I'll see what it is. I'm really, my plan is to keep the star up here. Okay. But this popped up, so I left it. Yeah. Hey, yep. We can grab two. Yeah. Another Jabba de Cabo. Okay. A Jabo. Jabo. Yeah. I love them things. I love them. They're nice. They're nice. Yeah. They're the only food that's like a snack that I'll keep. Yeah, because you don't do snacks like no, that. No, but I, I keep this one. Yeah. And... Mm-hmm. Then over here, I got a butterscotch. This is a, a butterscotch sapodilla. Okay. A lot of flowers on that little coming out. Okay. I have this butterscotch. one. I have this one, but it's only about yay high. It's a big rave, but the fruit tastes great and it's big, but it's not as productive as the other ones. 
Well, I can't tell, Paul. Look at your tree. I know, but <laughs> that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Look at your tree. Man, look at his tree. Every limb is, is loaded. Yeah. 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 God is blessing. <laughs> now, now you're about to just... Okay. This is it. Okay. This is a uh, mm -hmm. Sue Bell White Sapote. Sue Bell. Look okay. at this tree. Right, loaded. It sure is. Loaded. Oh, my goodness. Hey. We're a couple of weeks away from this tree being right. Well, I got to come back. I'm going to come good. back. I am. Good. And I see more coming. More coming. Yeah. yeah, like everywhere. This tree is loaded. And it's happy. This is a happy tree. Look what I noticed yesterday. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Right in the middle. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Yeah. And wow. When I planted this tree, this tree was wobbly. I didn't know it was going to make it. Uh huh. So Look at that. Up. And this thing is solid now. Yes. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. Yep. So okay. Wow. Well, white the Okay. Behind you here. Okay. This here is a pantane mame. And mames mm -hmm. at this time of the year lose all their flowers. Okay. But that's it. And it's. it's Amazing fruit. So there's no, yeah, yeah. Amazing. I've had, I've had some. Out here, mm -hmm. is my uh, my cocktail tree. I have Fairchild on this side. Okay. Angie <laughs> on that side. Okay. And wow. Kent on the other side. Originally a Kent tree. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question, Paul. Do you eat green mango? No. No. I'm surprised with you being. You I, know. I'm not Asian. Only Asians eat green mangoes. <laughs> that's okay. what I understand, okay. right? Okay. I well. mean, everybody I know that they said eat the green mangoes. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, I like rice. I started and sweet. last year. You put salt on them and eat uh, them. Uh, sometimes and sometimes I pick them up and just peel them and you know make sure I got all the the residue of the skin off and just eat them like that. And sometimes I pickle them. I put them in pickle juice. Mm -hmm. I, I want to pickle them, but I can't mm -hmm. just eat them plain like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, there are green mangoes I have. I can yeah. pimp some moon. Yeah. You eat that green and it's sweet. I heard it. I heard it in one of your videos. So, so that one's good. Yeah. Then back okay. here, okay. we have uh, this uh, avocado tree that I'm going to make into other avocados. But this is, uh, oh, what's the name of it? Hmm. Not the Monroe. The, it's like a Monroe. Okay. It'll come back to me. Okay. But it was loaded and I cut it back mm -hmm. with the idea to graft on top of it. Okay. So okay. I'll be grafting that. Yeah. And okay. here, here they are. I got some finger limes. Okay. These are finger limes. Yeah. And uh, hmm. these are the new red varieties from the uh, University of Florida. Okay. And that's the U.S. Sun, the new one. Okay. And this one is uh, Thank You Nick in Orlando. He brought that to me. Yeah. The giant variety. Okay. You have finger limes? Yes, two of them. Yeah, what kind? Giant, right? Uh, I have the, the regular green. That's the giant. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm excited. But citrus, no, people have trouble with citrus down here. Yeah. So I've been uh, rejuvenated here. Uh, a yeah. local nursery gave me these, and uh, yeah, we did a nice video, and we tried like uh, a bunch saw. of kinds. I took a clip of it and, and put a picture on, on yeah. my Instagram to push for you. And there's a San Pablo. Uh, San Pablo custard apple. Oh wow! So it's that's really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love them. I love them. Mm -hmm. All righty. Now his hat's about to blow off his head when he sees what's going on in here. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see y'all. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Wait, what's your favorite mango? Turn the turn the camera and tell us about your favorite mango. Well, you know I'm gonna get in trouble for this. We I, I know that sugarloaf i really pushed sugarloaf about four years ago i was big on sugarloaf like uh audrey was pushing sassy love and everybody went crazy over sugarloaf and sugarloaf is still at the top but without a doubt without a doubt lemon zest <laughs> is the best it's better than all the rest <laughs> uh -huh. well right here we got a lemon zest tree okay mine i lost i lost mine so this is our lemon zest tree, and it's not the best this year. It's not doing amazing, but they're they're looking oh. nice. <laughs> wow. Zest. Those are lemon zest, and there's a couple scattered around oh. here. Wow! Look at them lemon zest. Yeah. If he didn't have the string on his hat, he'd be flying off. Oh, oh my goodness! Lemon zest. Yo, look, lemon zest. <laughs> <That's is. nice. laughs>
<laughs> look, hey, look, I didn't encourage y'all to get Sugarloaf for no reason. Listen, it just Sugarloaf have a problem for the first five years it, with production, but it's still good. But this thing here, you know, somebody put in the comments in one of my videos this morning. If you if you had to have just two trees, yeah. what would they be? Just this morning, and I said pick ring for production and lemon zest for flavor. I just you know, lemon zest is hard to beat. Lemon zest amazing, and my neighbor's tree is twice the size of this and loaded. Oh, loaded. man. Okay. So here, that is a sweet, sweet tart. tart. Yeah. Yeah. The branch it. breaker. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Wow. And it's loaded. Loaded. I can't loaded. wait to get my sweet tart in the ground. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't well, wait. It's, it's a tree that's not that easy to pick when, to know when to pick them right. Mm -hmm. But if you know, it's yeah. really amazing. Yeah. Now this is the mystery mango. Since this was supposed to be uh, sugarloaf, it's not sugarloaf. Uh, I had people look at my videos and say, that's not sugarloaf. Yeah. And uh, so we're trying to figure out what this is. It's a mystery mango. I First, it had one mango last year, but I didn't get to taste it. But uh -huh. this year there's about four or five on there. I, you know, and I've been following the comments and stuff, but you know, it's, be it's, careful, it might fall. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. It, it, um, I did that and it fell. I was like, oh man. If it, yeah. It's a tough I one. I had. Know. But they, they close to it because that, that that rustic top, and they they look close to it though. I mean, the shape is 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 a little bit different. But I've had my sugar loaf start off like that and then morph into what they become. You know. Well, a lot of people have taken guesses. Yeah. Uh, Alex at Trapper Blakers Farm. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows for sure until they taste it. Yeah. But from the video, the best guess he guessed was, and, and it'd be a, I'd be happy if it was. I'm not happy that it's not what I got. Mm -hmm. But he said maybe Karen Michelle. And if it is, I'll be a happy camper. Yes. <laughs> You're right. So, yeah, so it, it looks like Karen Michelle. So we'll see. And Karen Michelle is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's really good. Well, look what we have here. Okay. All right. This came, this we got yesterday. Oh, That's cool. a, a Alano. Alano. And this came off the tree yesterday. Mm. Mm. It, it, it didn't fall off ripe. Mm -hmm. But smell that. Mm -hmm. Then it come off right, so I don't know how it's gonna write, but it's way. Melted. And that, I'll show you that. Tree yeah, back there. it's on its way. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Mm. Take a guess. Oh, it's bumpy at the top. It's really bumpy. It's not edgy. Um, I don't know. It's, it might be too pretty for ugly Betty. Well, what is it? What? Cat. Oh, that's seeds. Okay. Cat. All right. And I'm top nice. working one. Cat is right nice. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I have one. I have one. I'd have to say it's in my top ten. Yeah. It's that good. Yeah, it is. And it's the best producing and disease resistant you can find. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. My goodness. Now, my favorite tree in the whole yard here is this one. Mm hmm Yeah. This oh. is China. Oh my God. Jackfruit. China. China. Okay. They, uh, some people say chine, but they stay small, soft, easy peel. Uh -huh. It's a combination of a jackfruit and a champadoc. Okay. Okay. People that's the one. A jack. Okay. Yeah. And that's the one that's up front too, right? That's the one that's okay. up front. Okay. Absolutely. The best smelling, tasting thing. It's amazing. Okay. Where can I get that from, Paul? A lot of the nurseries around here have them. Okay. Yeah. All right. When I come back, I'll grab one. For then. sure. Yeah. I, I definitely want that. Definitely, definitely. And there I have another white sapote. White sapote. Another variety there. I believe okay. that one's Redland. Okay. One on there. Okay. This is a Boca Chamba Doc, and two years ago they came out like the Chino. They were amazing, but last year they didn't come out great. I don't know what I was thinking, but I cut it back, mm -hmm. and now it's growing back. So I'll, I didn't mm -hmm. cut it out completely. I thought right. I just cut some parts that weren't great. Let's see what's going but on. it's growing. Okay. Here we have, two years ago when I got the Boca Chamba Doc, I took seedlings from that. Uh -huh. So this is a seedling from that. Oh, so wow. I know this is the good one. Because I'm thinking maybe the, the, the bottom part came out and, and, the, and the graft was uh -huh. a good one I had two years ago. But this is from the good one. So that's a seedling. Okay. So it's, it's growing on. Okay. And that's a mango seedling here. Look at this. Get, 
Look at this. Well, I had to cut it because I didn't want it to go too high. I mean, it's straight like a totem pole. Yeah. So and go then see. it out way up at the top. Interesting. And then it was going real high and I cut it up there. And it's a ceiling. Yeah, the thing with this was though, this tree was all the way out to here shading uh -huh. it. So that's why it went up. So oh, okay. High. All right. It was trying to reach the sun. Yeah. Okay. And this yeah, tree here, which I'm excited about, this is a top work of mine. Mm -hmm. This was... And Angie, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, no, this was a curry, a curry tree, mm -hmm. and um, a curry mango, mm -hmm. and I'm top working it right mm -hmm. here, as you can see it, top work this part, to an emerald mango. I don't have that. Emerald. Oh, so, wow. I got this part successful, this part successful, and I just put five more on there, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, emerald. This is emerald. Okay. Amazing tree, doesn't get too tall. Mm -hmm. Remember, folks. I'm a mango snog, I'm a fruit tree snog, and, and I could have any fruit tree here, yeah. any mango variety here, yeah. and I picked Angie, I mean, I picked Emerald. Emerald. It's that good. You wow. can see a review on my channel of what I did with it. Okay, it's Emerald. Emerald. Okay. And it's not easy to find. So wait, these were a little bit. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, last year they were... Loaded. Loaded. Yeah. So these were interesting. So these two, here's one. This is lemon meringue. Uh -huh. This is lemon meringue. I'll get that shit. Oh, and it, it's a it's a late season mango. I mean mm -hmm. a late a late season this year for mangoes. But this is lemon meringue. And what happened is last year uh -huh. I trimmed the tree back too much. Oh. I did it at the right time, but I did it too much. It even got sunburned a little here. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the tree survived. Yeah. But I, I, I killed my mango crop this year. Next year, it's going to be Oh, phenomenal. yeah. And I have some over there on that side. We'll go, we'll go right back. Well, well, you know, we did that the Graham. We trimmed it late yeah. last year and only got a handful. Well, but I didn't trim year, it late. I over trimmed it. Yeah, well, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And the same thing with that one, same exact thing. Yeah, because when I came out, it was like, they yeah. were loaded. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and wow. then behind, right here is another uh, red custard apple right here. Red custard apple. Okay. Yeah, San Pablo. Now here is a uh, orange sorbet, <laughs> and it's loaded. Ooh. Loaded. Now, now I got questions. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> what did you do to get orange sorbet to produce like this? Because I've gone to quite a few properties, and even my own. I mean, I, I've never seen orange sorbet. Like this, come around here and and look at his orange service. You know what I did? The same thing you do. Oh, okay. You know. What all I did. Okay, <laughs> all right. I need to do it a little more then. Yeah. I need to, need to do it, do it a little bit more. Okay. All right. So orange sherbet is. Oh yeah. Well, orange sherbet is making up for exactly. It's it's uh, it's, uh mother. Exactly. Yeah. Right here is another mame sapote. Okay. There's a Lorito. It's a really good variety. Lorito. Lorito. And that's so it's pretty. coming out. That's pretty. And then right over my neighbor's tree right there, that's Angie. He's he's lending me some Angie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. So we'll come back here. Okay. <clears throat> so this, this, this side is good. The okay. lemon variety. Get all killed right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. We got a few for you and the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch your step, Yeah, man. I see it. Okay, watch the pole. Here. Back there is a black gold jackfruit. That is a beautiful tree. Black bro. gold jackfruit. That tree is beautiful. So uh, that's wow. a new tree, so I'm waiting for it to produce. To produce. Okay. On the other side of this shed, mm -hmm. that big one up there is my neighbor's can of steel mm -hmm. that he's going to cut out, and then the orange sherbet's going to grow over there to his side. Okay. But now it's loaded on that side. Yeah, I see one almost yeah. yellow. Yeah, and I have a mame sapote back there also. Another one on the other side of this shed. Wow. A paste mame. Paste so mame. this here is a is a Simmons avocado. Simmons avocado. You tasted that? No, I It's haven't. delicious. It's a great early season avocado, Simmons. Yeah. I love avocado. One of the most popular and early season. I really like them. Now here, mm -hmm. this tree is, is, is a late mango. It's an M4. Oh. You've had that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, M4 is nice. Yeah, it is really nice. It's bumpy and it's not pretty, but it tastes phenomenal. Yeah. yeah this yeah. one here is a Miami uh, sour top. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Miami sour stop. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I think they get the sour stop now, right? Out right here. They are, and not, yeah. not yet, but they, okay. they will. Okay. This uh, one is a pumpkin mame. It's a dwarf mame. Okay. Pumpkin mame. And you can get a meal out of that. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah those, are, those are meals. This is, this is something else. Wow. Now, this here. Wait a minute. I'm seeing different colors and <laughs> shapes and... Okay. <laughs> so what are you seeing here? Come on this side. Let's show you on this side. What are you seeing here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing it look like a Frankenstein tree. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is uh, like a bluish green and this is a uh, red and green and it's a light tones of other stuff, pink and stuff. Yeah, this is a grafted tree all Absolutely. over the place. Yeah. So this originally was a Duncan. This was a Duncan mango tree. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I hadn't liked Duncan too much. Mm -hmm. However, last year, they were really good. Yeah. Really good. It was the first year I liked them, and I was going to completely top work this tree. But I'm like, that's not bad. So I decided I'm going to keep some of Duncan, okay. but I was top working it with one of my favorite, one of my top five mangoes, Sunrise. Oh, yeah. Uh, sunrise. Yeah. yeah. So, and then, but then I have one branch here. When it was at Duncan, I decided I was gonna put something on there, and I put a sugar loaf on there. Okay. So, okay. and there's just so many mangoes here. I don't even know yeah. what's going <laughs> Yeah, they everywhere. But, <laughs> everywhere. So one of them is sugar loaf. Okay. Does it have fruit or? I don't know. Okay. This. Well, I see. It's just it's, this tree is just low. It's a very happy tree. Yeah. Very, yeah. very happy. Very happy. Oh, that one has color. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Squeeze through there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So right here is another seedling. Okay. I had cut. It was growing so well. It's the Boca Champa that jackfruit. Okay. All right. So. Okay. That's another seedling. Back there, I have a Dupuis avocado. Okay. Dupuis avocado. Mm -hmm. And we passed over there. That's another custard apple, the red custard apple. Okay. Uh, so it's like strategic where I'm going to put all these. Okay. I see. Now this here is the most <laughs> abundant tree you'll find. This is a, a white sapote. I don't know the exact variety. Uh huh. Uh, but it is loaded every year. Wow. Loaded. Maybe it could be named Tippy. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not a. It's not we'll a. See this. Yeah, I'm just messing with Yeah, <laughs> but it is loaded. Look at the size. Are they typically that big? No. No. Man, look at the size. Look yeah. The size. They're huge. Look at look at. And a lot of trees, you don't want to grow too tall for this. You're not going to be able to get the fruit. Yeah. But white sapote is interesting because when it's ripe, they fall. Oh. So you can have the tree taller. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're going to... Okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So then on the floor, we have some uh, nice varieties here. Mm -hmm. Jamaica Mame that everyone's trying to get. Mm. We have uh, mm -hmm. another white sapote everyone's trying to get. Okay. These are that's a Campbell white sapote. Okay. There's some mangoes and, and we have sea tongue. Okay. Okay. And that's another jackfruit. Okay. Uh, and then this is a persimmon. 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 Yeah. And then over here we have the this is the one I got for you. The mm -hmm. Oh, what was the name of that one? Uh Let's see. I guess it's down there on the bottom line. Uh, yeah. San Paris. San Paris. Okay, San okay. Paris. Yeah. Now these are two citrus that I'm trying to mess around with and seeing how they do out here. Okay. Sugar bell. Okay. Well, now where did you get these from, Paul? Uh, there's a local nursery here, mm -hmm. uh, that, that Jack and the Beanstalk nursery. They're excellent. And they mm -hmm. do really successful with citrus and they sell a lot of citrus. Okay. And uh, I wanted a lemon, so I got a lemon there, but the sugar bell, that is resistant to the greening. They're making them now that are resistant to the greening. Okay. So she said, if you're going to grow a citrus, that's the one you want to grow. Sugar bell. Sugar bell, yeah. Okay. So we'll y'all so remember that. If you want to grow citrus, sugar bell is the way. Yeah. Okay. 
Wow. This one nice. here, cream brulee. Uh, yeah, cream that's brulee. good. I haven't tasted it yet, but that's I hear good. it's amazing. It's good. It's good. Then I have Alan Pear Banishan, which is another amazing mango. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Out of this world. <laughs> okay, then, uh, P22. P22. Mm-hmm. And that's the Amphora Balsh from Michelin. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And this one mm -hmm. was uh, Amapali. Oh. Have you heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, heard. Heard. I, heard. I, heard. I heard. So now this tree is a beautiful tree. Mm -hmm. This is Relinia. Relinia. It's not fruit. Uh, yeah, it's not fruit, but right. it's, it's delicious. So describe this fruit, Paul. Well, it's part of an Anona family. Yeah. And... It tastes like a a sour a sweet sour sap, but the consistency is a little bit more wet okay. than a sweet sour sap. I first had it in, a, in Australia years ago. You've been in Australia? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. And this at a tropical fruit park out there. Wow. But this is an amazing fruit, not that many people grow it. And I wanted to grow it. And it's growing. I'm waiting for it to see if it fruits. But yeah. it looks like it got a good amount of flowers, yeah. so we'll see. All over. Yeah, let me know. Let yeah, me know we'll because see. I had it once and it was uh, you didn't like it. Yeah. No, it, it tastes good when you get it. Yeah. And you see here, I took out my garden for the summer. Yeah. And I'm planting watermelon all over. Okay. I, 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 am, I am too. Yeah. Yeah, I am too. I just didn't do a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this here is another china jackfruit. Mm -hmm. China jackfruit that we mm -hmm. saw over there. Okay. Okay. And that's another seedling of the Boca Champa duck. Okay. All right. Okay. And this is supposed to be an ice cream in a pot. You'll be proud of me. I'm growing in a pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. put that in that pot by myself. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, that's a big pot. Yeah. But this uh, is supposed to be an ice cream, but the leaves don't look like ice cream. It sure don't. So yeah. it might be another surprise. Yeah, I know I've gotten a few of them from yeah. a certain nursery. Huh. Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> So this one here is a top work. It was a winter Mexican avocado, uh -huh. and I top worked it for Campong. Campong. Okay. Yeah, so and it took, it successful, and I got avocados for the first year. This, but other than the or Ornego, probably mm -hmm. my favorite winter avocado, Campong. Okay. It's excellent. Okay, so they'll be ready in the winter. By yes. The winter get ready. November, December. Okay, okay. Now looky here. Oh, 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 wow. Look at this. One, two. Hey, they're over there. That's I hit the uh, sour sap. They're up there. They're up there. Uh, they're up there. Uh, they're up there. Uh, they're up there. Uh, wow. I hit the sour sap jackpot. Yes, you did. This is a seedling from Home Depot. But don't uh, run uh, to Home uh, Depot because I planted a bunch. But what? this was the first one I planted, and look what happened. But the other's not yet. But look this one, wow. Size of this. Yeah. These are these are like ten bucks a pound. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Get an up close picture. There's some of that. flowers there coming out some more. Yeah, yeah, all over. Mm-hmm. And this is season for it now. Yeah, it is. It is. I was actually gonna go to a place while I was down there, but I, I was like, ooh, I got a chance to go see you, so I just opted oh, out. Oh thank you. <laughs> all right, so yeah. Watermelon's coming along. Watermelon, okay. All right. This yeah. is Catalina avocado. Catalina. Okay, okay. Wow. Catalina. It's loaded too. Loaded. This mm -hmm. year's uh, another seedling from Home Depot. Nothing on it. But we'll see. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Here we come. Here oh, we come. there's another one. Nice. I see yeah. another one. You know what this is remind me of, y'all? When, um, Chris from Truly Tropical came to the place to do a video and she was asking me about the star fruit tree that I had and it was six years old and I was like, yeah, it's never produced. And she said, well, yeah, it is. There it is right up there. <laughs> it waited for me to get here. Yeah, that's funny. They're up here now. That is awesome. So when that one finished, this one will be carrying on the... Wow. That's our boat season right here. Okay. Okay. And this is a jackfruit that, this is amazing. Uh -huh. So this was a seedling that I cut back. This was whole big and very productive, but uh -huh. it was way too soft. Okay. But I didn't, it wasn't, I wanted to get something better because I don't have a lot of spots. Okay. So I put this 
Bangkok lemon jackfruit here on the ground. Yeah. But I said I'm gonna try to do some grafting. Try to graft this. Okay. And I don't know how to graft jackfruit, but if you come around this side. Okay. Look what happened to one of them. It took. One of them took. Yeah. The first one took. After that, that's when I grafted everything. But <laughs> the first one took, so I cut all this back, and yeah. now I have a lemon Bangkok. Okay. See, on this, and if it doesn't work, I have the other tree right, right there. there. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now, as excited as you are, we're going to Mango Land now. Really? Mango Land. Okay. We're going. All right. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Our apples. Mm-hmm. And wow. on this side, we're starting getting some mangoes. We have Pink Sun Moon. Pink Sun Moon. Oh, okay. this is another Thai one. I forgot the name. Okay. Some jackfruit growing here. Wow. Wow. Okay. This was uh, a top work. It was a seedling, and I top worked ice cream onto it. Oh, wow. And wow. <laughs> it's doing pretty well. Look, Paul, I think this is the biggest ice cream I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is ice that cream. Is, that is huge. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a text when you eat it. <laughs> Just a That's text. That's another China jackfruit. China. Okay. All right. My bananas are rocking now. Woo! Bananas are back. I know you know this one. Rosy gold. Yeah, rosy gold. Uh huh. Honey kiss. Honey kiss. Ooh. Ooh la la. Yes. This one did nothing. This is Juliet. Juliet. Taking the year off. Okay. Yeah, they do that sometimes. And this one is uh mm -hmm. I told myself I never forget the names. This is the one that Chris has that no one else has. Okay. Well, Alex has it too. Alex too. Uh no, nah, uh, uh, What's shit. that guy's name? Named after a guy. Uh Oh, Tess Pollock. Tess Pollock. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We working Sweet together. Too, y all, y all get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The reason I have a cut, I moved from my other house, and look at it. It's loaded now. I mean, it is loaded. And you moved it. I which kind it was, but yeah, it was big. It was just that bigger than that, and I moved it. Wow. That's another custard apple. Custard apple. I got some bananas going. Yeah, on you got them. They're, oh, wow. What is this? Carry? Pineapple pleasure. Oh! <laughs> Good morning. Wow. That's pineapple pleasure, y'all. Wow. Oh, yeah. I got Angie. Angie. Okay. All right. And I finally got a well here and I got water. And okay. I ran into a problem. I started growing in pots. Uh-huh. But the weeds are coming up and I can't mow the lawn because I don't want to mess up the water. So I got to figure something out. I was just here this morning working on this. Okay. Okay. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. Okay. Because, uh... The weeds are taking over, so okay. I might get a weed mat. Uh -huh. We'll figure it out. What do you do to keep the weeds out of your? <laughs> mm-hmm. But so what yeah. do you do? What do you do? You just weed around it. Yeah. Around yep. it. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, you don't have water. That's the thing. You see, I got this. So weeding around it's not easy. Yeah. That's the water coming from the well. Oh, yeah. That's all right. You can. You still can do it. Just. Well, oh, I got. Uh, mm-hmm. Over here, I got the. Mm -hmm. One of your favorites here. This is the. Uh, Sassy Love. Oh, okay. Sassy Good old Sassy Love. So I got water now, so it's looking nice. Yeah, Even ice cream. My mangoes on water. Another ice cream. Yeah, and it's doing good, too. It's all right. The older it gets, the better it's going to get. Mm -hmm. Here we have a Carla. Carla. Okay. Nam Dak Mai. Nam Dak Mai showing out. I got yeah, rid of my tree. That's my mm -hmm. neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Kesar. Kesar. This one was, uh, oh, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I can't roll it off my tongue. But That's all right. We, that's okay. You, you and I hate it. when I do videos and people don't remember. But yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. This is a seedling uh -huh. that I grafted in these two. Yeah. These yeah. Apricot. Okay. You got to get an apricot, man. You an keep telling me mango. that. You have to get you an apricot. You keep telling mango. me that. Okay. It, mm -hmm. One of these might be Ty Moore. Ty Moore is another... Okay. Thai more is a great mango. Oh man, look at here. So here's what I got in my pot. That's a, a, a gift out of Moya that I am growing. Okay. Emerald. Emerald. I okay. got a, 
I got a juju in the ground there, but here I had, a, I had a drain field and it went bad, so I had it all replaced and the drain field ends shorter now, so now I have more room, so I put the juju in the ground. Juju B. But I yeah. have another. Uh, uh, Jabo the Kaba there. Yep. Yeah, Jabo. That's the red one. Okay. Cell. Okay. Wow. Have you tasted Giselle? No. Wow. You're in for a big surprise. Really? Giselle tastes amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How long you had Giselle? Well, I had one in the ground pretty big, but I I ended up getting rid of it, which I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But then I, I tasted it again, and I wanted it. So this one's mm -hmm. I might have got two years ago. Okay. All right. Okay. Then I have a Bombay in the pot. Yeah, I saw that. A couple that. of avocados. Yeah. And another apricot. It got to be good this, if you... This is a fruit cocktail. Okay. Yeah. All right. I have that tree as well. This one didn't do anything. This is an Edgar. Edgar. Okay. Nothing yeah, I have two on my tree. Just two. Ice cream? No? No, Neelum. Neelum. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a seedling. Seedling. You get that's the... not coming out of the seedling. No, that's coming out of the Neelum. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. This is a uh, Pickering. Pickering, all right. Producing. Guess what that is? You guessed it, apricot. Another one? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you didn't convince me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta well, get it. Well, the thing with apricot is, it tastes like an apricot. I don't even like apricots. Yeah. But no one else has it except Alex at Tropical Acres Farms. So it's a. And I want to have enough bud wood and stuff, but. Okay. It's 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 nice. Okay. But I don't even like it. Look how big those fruit cocktails are. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's and a that meal. one's cotton candy. <sighs> Man, this is truly mango uh, land. Over here? Yeah. We have a gram. Gram. I know that's your biggest tree. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have a, a, a sweet tart that I sweet tart. worked. Sweet tart. Okay. And All that's right. part of our, our pickering. Pickering. That was moved. I moved that tree here from somewhere else. Wow. That was in the ground for six years at, at Leaf's house, and I took it out and got it here. Wow. They this can be is, transplanted. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this was the guava. Yeah, I lost mine, but that is it. This My one fault. is... Ugly Betty? Nope. No? Oh, got a hook on it. Buttercream. Um, but, yep, yep, mm, buttercream. buttercream. Yep. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Bart! Hey, Bart, up there in Deltona. And listen, Paul, I'm sending Paul from Fruitful Trees up there to see you because very few people doing what you're doing that far north. This is your tree, buttercream. Mm -hmm. And here we have Super Alfonso. Paul, I've been hard-headed. You've been telling me to get it. I ain't got it yet. I'm telling you, you got to get this tree. Okay. I'm telling <laughs> okay. you, this actually is going to be a commer the next commercial mango, they think, at Zills. They they're going to try to push this commercially. Okay. Wow. And then here we have a, a phoenix. I, I've been talking to Zeal, but I'll talk to you off camera about that. That's a phoenix? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Here we have white puri. Oh. This wow. was loaded with powdery mildew. Yeah. But it came through, and a couple of them came through. Okay. Okay. White puri. We can run quick, Paul. I know you got to go. Here we have a sea crest. Sea crest. Okay. And this one's a coconut cream. Coconut cream. And this one is a true sugar loaf. Mm -hmm. I hope. Yeah. Sugar loaf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I still got one sugar loaf. So. Yeah. Yeah, one. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this, I took out from here a taffy. Uh huh. And I put in a fruit punch. Okay. I don't have space for anything here, but I did it for the budwood, but. Yeah. I sold the cafe that was here and I put a fruit punch. I'm I'm getting a fruit punch punch from um Montero Gardens here. This one is dot. Dot. My tree has one fruit on it. That's a good fruit. Oh it is. Dot is good. It really is. Mango land, y'all. Karen Michelle. Karen Michelle. Okay. Now I had here a pina colada. Okay. I put the Karen Michelle in. Oh wow. I just took it out to make room for the space. And it's then beautiful. I the space. Look how beautiful the leaves are, like his sister, coconut cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sunrise. Sun. Oh. My other ones in my neighbor's yard. I wanted one. Yeah. Okay. Sunrise. Sunrise. Mango I, land. I, I had with it where this one is. I had a 015. Okay. But it gets too big for the space, so I took it out. Took it out. Okay. And I 
I had a numb up mine here that I took out. Mm -hmm. This one, you told me to keep, so I kept it. Okay. Orange essence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Orange essence. First year, I'm getting food on it. Okay. Okay. And then this is like loaded. It. Look at this. Little gem. Wow. wow. Little gem. You see that? That's a little gem. Y'all look. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. wow. Little Jim doing what it's normally do. Just like its mom, Kit. It is a late season mango and a great producer. Mm-hmm. Mulch. Oh, yeah. Back to eating. I don't know anyone else besides Al that has this mango. It's called a step mango. Step? S-T-E-P from oh. Hawaii. Really? Oh, it's wow. Nice. Yeah, and it looks like it's, it's a big nice. fruit. It's big fruit. Mm -hmm. Now you know why they call it Mango Land. And oh. finally, the close off. Okay. With the encore. Yes. Peach cobbler. Oh, I just did a video and almost ended with that. Yeah, good old peach cobbler. So my goal is for this tree to get super big in this area and it has the room to do so. Okay, and it most certainly will. All right, well. That's Mango Land. All right, y'all. Well, this is the Orlando Gardener coming at you down here in South Florida. And, um, here with Paul from Fruitful Trees, and you know he's my brother, and I appreciate him. Appreciate him taking the time out last minute to say, "Hey, y'all, come on over." I happen to be down here. Came down to pray for a brother uh, down here, and come back up. He found out I was here. He said, "Stop by." We did a video. We'll be doing more collabs. The landlord got in the comment section. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.